start starting. Okay, so what we're looking for is actually the solder joints and the surface mount technology and how well they did on the solder joints. One of the other things we're looking at too, right down here are the power transistors. We want to make sure that they are firmly seated against the exterior wall so there's enough cooling area for when they actually are controlling it. There's a fan on the back here that'll help keep it cool, uh, which is a great idea, which you should do. The other thing we're looking at too, and right, whoa, right there. Luckily, let me find a pencil. Uh, we found a problem that we need to take care of right now. Um, the, the shorted units, the shorting bars, are touching and they shouldn't be that would be right here those should not be touching oh I see it so since they are soldered and have a large heat sink on them we there shouldn't be any problem moving those out of the way Okay, so you should make sure that you have plenty of separation between the wires so you don't have anything called um, ECM or electromagnetic conduction or electrocapacitive, uh, which is uh, ECT, electrocapacitive transmission. So all we're doing is just separating those so you have. Uh, an area that they don't actually conduct or have electromagnetic uh, induction from. So in general we're looking at all the solder connections on the SMT parts and the actual conduction parts. Now when you do these you, you'd be able to take either end of the case off however do not take the board out at all there's no reason for it because just about everything you're going to be looking for uh, you can see from either end. <clears throat> so the uh, design is solid. It is a it is listed as a class 1 or a class 2 product. It's not industrial capable. Oh, it's not UL listed at all. It's It's not UL listed. <laughs> so <laughs> So buyer beware, just know what you're getting into. The connections are correct and they're well insulated so we just want to peek in here and make sure that there's nothing wonky or falling out or and it's, it appears to be okay and this is the fan end or the DC output end and uh, this is the DC input end. And the same thing, again, just, just to warn you guys, do not disconnect these from the side or here. These real small membranes right here are heat conductive membranes, but they're also an insulative um, material. And you do not want to break the connection between here and here without putting new membrane or an adhesive membrane in between your power transistors and, and your exterior casing. The reason being, the exterior case is actually the, one of the heat sinks for the entire unit. So it's critical you don't mess with those. Again, this is just a general overview. overview. We're not going to get too into it right now until after you get some hooked up and then we'll give another review at that point. The quality appears to be normal. Um, there appears to be nothing abnormal about the construction. It's just a cheaper manufacturer than, say, a class one industrial product. It's not UL listed. Okay, and on the interior here, we're looking to make sure 
you see these paint marks on the Teflon connections? That's to verify what the connections are made during the uh, uh, manufacturing of the product. Um, we're also looking for solder quality here and the depth of our solder. So when they solder these, send them through the uh, wave solder machine, you're actually getting a buildup on the board itself. So you want to make sure that these deep solder connections, these are not abnormal. These are normal. So no panics there. They're not messing up. So what they're doing is they're using the solder connection as an actual conductor area, which is actually, it's fine. Uh, nothing too terribly wrong about that. Um, so it appears everything's in order. So we'll put it back together and we will update everybody when we get the controller in and up and running. And we'll check the performance then and see what everything looks like. Until then, that's it for now. Thanks, folks. This is me and Brad. Uh, Christmas Day 2015. Have a good new year.